Hey guys, it's Melanie from Vintage Makeovers with Melanie. I don't know if you saw in the last video where I picked up this table set and chairs. But today we're gonna go ahead and turn this into something pretty cool that we can sell at my store. And we're gonna build a bench for it. So hang out with me and we're gonna get this going. So we stopped at Home Depot and we got a two by 11. They call it a two by 12. Got a one by four and some two by fours. We're gonna use a Craig jig a drill you need something to cut your wood with and some sanding stuff some screws and some glue it's basically all you need in order to make this measuring tape helps <laughs> don't forget one of those and here we go i'm going to measure the length of my table and the distance between the two legs on the bottom that way my bench will be the same length on the top but the legs will slip in between Now that I have my measurement, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line. We're gonna cut that off. And then I'm gonna take off just the saw length on the other side so that I have a nice, clean cut on that side. A lot of times this wood comes and the factory cut surface is not clean. Now we want our bench total height to be about 19 inches tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut for my legs at 17. I like to cut one leg and then use all of them to make the measurements for all the other ones. That way I know they're all gonna come out the exact same. Now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and set our angle to 22.5. That's gonna give us the perfect angle for this to sit flat on the floor and support our bench. So you can see I'm at the very edge of that. I'm not taking off any of the length. I'm just making that angle. And again, once I had one done, I used that for a template to make all my other ones so we all match up nice and tight. All right, now we're gonna take these over to the work table and set them down. We want these to cross over I'm using that board at the back so I can make sure that my angles are straight. Now I'm gonna take a pen and I'm gonna draw a line there and there. Those are gonna be where I cut. That is actually a 45 degree angle. So let's change the angle on our saw and go ahead and cut those. We're gonna do that on all, nope, just two legs, two of the four. Okay, so now we're gonna use our Craig jig we need to make some holes on both of our short boards. The short ones are gonna go into our long ones to make our X. And then you need two at the top of each <laughs> so that they can connect to the table. You'll see, just watch. Egg jig is very awesome. If you're going to build stuff, it's definitely worth the investment. I'll put the link in the comments if you want to get yourself one. So now I measured between my legs on my table. I want my legs of my bench to slip inside there. So I measured in between there. I divided that by two and I subtracted. So we're going seven inches from each side. Made a line there. Now we're gonna take our legs and we're gonna use the jig holes that we put in our boards and we're gonna connect those on the inside. That way our bench will slip nice and tight right in there. Obviously, if you're making a bench for anything else, you don't need to have those measurements down. Put your legs where you want them. Just make sure they're even on either side. Put a supporting beam through there. So I'm gonna take another two by four, I'm gonna measure there. I'm gonna put jig holes on either side, always use some glue, and we're gonna attach this. That little dude right there is a Craig hole jig corner clamp. It's super nice, um, holds it tight for you, especially when you're working by yourself. I'll put the link for that also, if you wanna get one of those. So I have cleaned the top of this table twice. Do you see these dark spots? This means I'm gonna have bleed through. 
no matter what. I just keep scrubbing and those keep coming back up. So we're gonna use Wise Owl Primer and we're gonna put two coats on this. That way we don't have any problems with those oils from this old finish popping back up and ruining it for us. It didn't show a lot of me putting the primer because you guys are gonna tune out and that will lower my YouTube ratings. Okay, now that we had two coats of that, I let it dry overnight, because darn it, it was 11 o'clock when I was filming that. So I went to bed, woke up this morning, and yes, I'm still in the same clothes, oh goodness. All right, so we are using the DIY blending brush. It has a coarser finish to it, and that's exactly what we want. So I am gonna give it a coat of weathered wood. All right, let's go ahead and give the top of our bench some weather wood also. No, nope, I have not sanded it yet, but we're gonna go ahead and paint it now. We'll distress it later and uh, see what we get. Now I'm gonna take some gravel road. It's a really light gray and I'm going to dry brush it on. So dry brushing, you want your brush to stay at an angle. You want hardly any paint on it and you just wanna make long strokes all the way down. Oh heck, if you mess it up, just, you know what, just keep blending, it'll be all right. You can see it's already starting to change the look of this table. We're starting to get a weathered kind of a wash look. Now I'm gonna take a white and I'm gonna do the same thing. Please excuse my garage, this is my life. I have not enough room and I make do with what I have. See these people on YouTube that have these immaculate spaces? Are they really working in there? We're gonna pull out our IOD stamps. This is the Bardwin Plank Stamp, and we're gonna use this to completely transform the top of this table. This stamp comes with a bunch of different planks. There's like four or five different ones. So what I'm gonna do is use a little black dress. I'm gonna apply it to my brayer and I'm just gonna go all the way across with each one. You can see it makes a pretty cool pattern. It's pretty realistic to what real wood would look like in all its different forms and shapes. So you just apply it, then you take it, you place it down nice and gently, and then you just press with your hands. You don't wanna squish side to side and mess up your, your stamp, but you just wanna apply straight down pressure. It has like these little screw things and little lines, so you can put them at the end of your planks to make it look more realistic. So now I'm gonna mix up my own color of gray to paint the base of this table and the base of my bench. Painted all of it. It took me two coats to do the whole base of the table and the base of the bench. Now that I have this all painted, I'm gonna go ahead and give it all a light sanding. I'm gonna distress a little bit, but mostly smooth the top of my table down. Now that we have that done, let's give our tabletop two or three coats, I did three coats of Big Top. I did two on the sides and the bottoms and I'm just using a brush and applying it. Well, <laughs> you see how I'm applying it. Big Top by DIY is pretty awesome. You very rarely end up with brush strokes. I love it. It's pretty much my, well, it is my always go-to. Let's go ahead and do the same process to our bench. That's it guys. If you would like to look at any of these products, please go to my website 
at windmillvintagedesigns.com. You can find all this cool stuff. And don't forget to like and subscribe because I've got more videos coming. You guys are awesome, and I will see you soon.